Hi everyone, we've got Alice back again. Uh, today I wanted to play around with a couple of genes that I've been learning. No, they're not genes, sorry, that's a lie. Uh, a couple of uh, viruses I've been learning about lately, reading the Dr. Judy Mitovitz's stuff. So I want to have a play <laughs> because if anything can go wrong with health, <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> so I just want to find out whether the trauma from Alice's childhood has activated retroviruses or come through retroviruses from uh, the genetics. So basically that's what I want to explore. So, because once again, if you find out stuff, you can do something about it. If you don't know, you can't. So, okay. So let me just ask the body where we need to start. Do I need to start through the immune system for this inquiry? Do I need to start through the adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival? Do we need some affirmations, goals online? Huh, we need some affirmations online. Interesting. Yeah. Give me those positives. Yeah, exactly. You need the chewed, the attitude. Mm hmm Attitude with essence. Okay, so in that case, which combo combination do we need? Sorry. <laughs> so she <laughs> she's still got a stuck reading uh, reflex, which means when I touch her, her whole brain goes, Bah! What are you doing? Anyway, no. It's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so is that the first? Yeah, so the first one we're doing is lung energy, lungs, grief, guilt, regret. How have your lungs been lately? Mm. Not too bad. Mm. Lung, liver. Mm. Liver's internalised rage, anger, frustration. Mm. None of that in there. Mm. Okay, so. Ah, yeah, right. So... <laughs> It's feeling hampered and suffocated in your life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, interesting. Given what happened like 45 minutes ago. So Alice was on her way to the gym and one of the narcissistic people in her world who she must answer the phone to rang just at the moment she was on her way. Anyway, so that all fell, 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 fell apart. Okay, so the uh, flower essence is queen of the night. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, yes. So this is about feeling a victim uh, with the frailty of life all the time because it's like your world is just built on eggshells constantly and it does not matter. You just keep on. Days. Yeah, nothing sturdy going on. And then the other side of that is, and this is a long thing, but state of darkness and dissociation brought on by absorbing energies without being rooted. So the whole grounding thing when you're around these narcissistic people, once again, mm -hmm. there's no base, there's no, no there's no Definitely. strength, yeah. And everything that you do to get grounded, you don't get to do because they're taking up all your energy. Oh, if you're there, Gary, you can uh, tap into this one as well. Probably be quite appropriate for you. <laughs> The other two which aren't showing up as much, but you know, they're, they're linked long term, is that blockage in the female receptive principle. So messing with, oh yeah, right, that would make sense with you. Just all your health issues, mm. you know? So basically the girly bits. And, um, but then also um, impotence and inadequacy in the face of gods, always feeling like we're not worthy, we're not deserving, we're not, um, all that G, all that gear. So do we need to do the lung meridian? Do we need to do the liver meridian? Do we need to do a chakra? Do we need to do uh, figure eights? So it's a chakra. And, you know, base chakra base. makes sense. Yeah, remember those days? Yeah, joy. <laughs> okay. And it's dissolved. So let's see whether it's first, second, third stage stress. So 
and of course the base links in with the adrenals mm. and then the sphenoid so that real tightness in through here mm. all the time and hold you tried hold yeah it's not too bad good stuff oh hello yeah well yeah okay let's stack that in as well Relation to fainting, not being able to look at your feet, not being able to do up your shoelaces, you know, that sort of gear. Okay. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my being a victim of the frailty of life and my state of darkness and dissociation brought about by absorbing energies without being rooted into all encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively experience the blissful power of deep seeing, understanding, feeling and sensuality. Like you felt it before, it wasn't too bad. And hold. Ah, but now we're back. Good. Okay, so now where do we need to go? Huh, now we can go into your immune system. How long have you felt like that? Your whole life? Mm. Yeah. Except for that six months you lived with your grandparents because oh, yeah, that you felt pretty you. safe and yeah. secure in there and easily safe and secure like yeah, there was no stress no, mm. Mm. and other than that when uh, when else did you have really good positive spaces in your world where you just felt safe the last lot of foster parents but then mum would still contact me or visit me anything that was good was taken sort of thing so yeah right okay okay going into the immune system in the clear okay in the clear hold so yep, so no surprise, immune system inflammation. So immune system down, inflammation high. Now let's ask in relation to those times in your life when you felt grounded, safe and happy. Hold? Yeah. Oh, Hold, difference. huge difference. Mm. Okay. Okay, so given that you've scored so high in the ACEs study, let's just ask the body if the ACEs study, or not the ACEs study, sorry, the early childhood traumas have activated any retroviruses. And hold, okay. Hold, hold. And mm. I feel wheezy wow. when you're doing that. Yeah, wheezy in your lungs, wow. Okay. Yeah, right, let's whack the lungs in. Hold back for me. Okay. <laughs> and hold back. Oh, oh gosh. Sorry. No, no. That's full. Yeah, okay. Okay, releasing any and all grief, guilt, regret. Releasing grief. Mm, yeah. And hold. Much better. And hold. Okay. So specifically, I want to check in relation. And look, I'm hoping these do not show up. So in relation to the SB40. And hold. Okay. Hold. Okay. Hold. Bummer. Hold. So. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wow. And the SV40. Hold back. 
So the SB40 is a virus that is left in our genome from 25 years of experimentation with the polio vaccine back in the 1930s and 40s. So it's now in the genome of some huge number of people. So they basically found a spare virus in the polio vaccines, which they named SV40. And it is a, it seems to be linked with all sorts of things, including, oh, no. Funnily enough, it didn't cause paralysis. So it was nothing to do with the polio side of the polio vaccine. So it's not like the kids in India who have been given polio by having the polio vaccine. This is more like it's a tumour causing virus and it creates all sorts of issues within different systems of the body. So basically, it, so then if you think about that, it sort of like can cause autoimmunity around the place as well. And once again, as a retrovirus, it gets activated with trauma. And that trauma can be anything. Mm. So it's like, it's like if, okay, so let me ask. Okay. So it can be living in the B and T cells in the body, waiting for an immune response. So sometimes it's after vaccines that it gets re um, reactivated. Sometimes it's after emotional stress or trauma. Now, let me just ask, what organs are being affected by SV40? Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's not showing up so much lungs, but heart, but you know, the whole lung heart thing is all connected anyway. And heart down, heart, hold down at the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> And hold down at the wrist. Yeah. Mm. And so often cardiovascular doctors and lung specialists, they end up arguing over whose problem things is. People go, no, no, it's not your lungs. No, no, it's not your heart. It's not meant to be my heart. I got a good, mm. don't want to leave that day at a good heart. Oh, with all your exercise, you would. Whereas the XMRV, that one I do know has definitely been linked in with um, clotting issues and cardiovascular sort of stuff. I'm trying to remember what I know about the SV40. Yeah, right. But it's linked in with old pain and punishment circuits. A rough bluegill, not sure what that one's for. So there's a flower essence we need. Yeah, right. So this is for when big stuff has happened and someone has tried to shut down your love and light. But yeah, but Rough Bluebell is the one that um, really tries, you know, when there's been people who have been deliberately hurtful and manipulative and deceitful. And we take that on because, you know, that's their aim quite often. So it just allows our inherent love vibration to come through again and just gives us more compassion and sensitivity. Yeah, right. And it's often linked with those organs like the lungs that are your detox organs. So when it just gets to that spot, you know, like breathing in love and light and breathing out, you know, negativity, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, it just gets to the spot where the organs go, oh God, how much more do I have to do? Mm. Wow, 
eight drops. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can't hurt, won't help. Mm -hmm. Hold down at the wrist. Beautiful. And relax. That's it. Hold down at the wrist. Good. So that's heart and lung. Hold that. Hold that. Okay. Okay. Any other organs associated with the SV40? Liver. Liver. These are definitely not the ones that uh, Dr. Judy talked about in the book particularly either, which is interesting. But um, so the virus, because it's associated with, uh, I suppose if you imagine your little body, because there was trauma right from so early, hold on going back. And that, you know, the fibrin that the liver makes, mm -hmm. hold up. Yeah, so that clotting agent, like imagine if the virus was traveling through the blood once it was being released, once it had been released, and it's in your DNA or your genome, then it can get stuck in wherever the weakest organ is. Yeah, you know, so if yeah, you're, you know, at three years old having that dam. Three was when I had my tonsils in that hole, it's an early day. Yeah. And hold on going back. Hmm. Hold up, I'm going down. Yeah, you poor little liver. Makes such sense with you. And it is bizarre, you were wanted, weren't you? Like there was nothing unwanted about. I don't know. Yeah, well, my father didn't come to think that. Oh, okay. He, he didn't think that she didn't want me, so. And hold on going back. And hold up, I'm going down. Hold, I'm going back. And hold up, I'm going down. Well, let's just ask the inflammatory pathways in your body in relation to that moment, the bliss moment. And hold. 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 Well, that's not showing any stress, so that's good. Well, at the very least, um, the moment of bliss is the moment when your mother finds out she's pregnant with you. So it will create inflammation if there was a trauma to her at that moment. Mm -hmm. So if she had that oh shit moment and mm -hmm. you just go, damn, like that doesn't seem to be showing us. Like the That's chakras good. are fine. There's no immune. So, yeah. It's all going to be so Pardon? Or went south later. It's one less thing. <laughs> Good one, sorry. SB40. Oh, kidneys make sense with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still on you. Yes, and hold up for me. <laughs> and That's hold. not bad, so this is my good side. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and fear of the anger as well. That fear and anxiety of what's to come. Mm -hmm. Not feeling safe and grounded. associated with SB40. So since liver showed up, I might just check some other liver pathways and see if it's messing with anything else there. 
is your poor little liver. I'll oh, very good, buddy. Good. So this is linked to the SB40. Right, so it makes it harder for the liver to deal with the bacterial endotoxins. So, because you've probably got SIBO or, you know, something going on. Mm. So, um, so obviously they're creating toxins while they're being there. And even when your body tries to kill them, that creates even more toxins. So those toxins are creating inflammation that's linked in with, it's messing up with your liver pathways. So no surprise as well, it's messing with your ability to release agricultural chemicals and uh, pollutants, contaminants, that sort of thing. So just wake up your liver in relation to those. I was listening to Pete Evans talk to Del Big Tree yesterday and he was saying how, you know, Australian TV has been picking on him for 10 years for all his weird and wonderful ideas. And apparently the AMA came out, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago saying, oh my God, he's a dangerous man. And at the time, all he was trying to do was promote organic food, non-GMO food, less glycophate, but, you know, it's sort of... Um, oh, that's really horrible. Oh yeah, horrible human being. And apparently the AMA had a regular press release they would do that was anti-Pete Evans. So they'd uh, say, um, we're sick of saying this, but don't listen to Pete Evans. He is not a doctor. Because, you know, doctors are the only ones who know anything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just funny. Okay. Again, anything else through the liver? Okay, so in phase two liver detoxification, your glutathione pathways don't work very well. I've all, I always start minus all your supplements, minus all your medication. Mm -hmm. So lucky you're taking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, and still glutamine deficient as well. What's the glutamine? Glutamine is about gut healing. Um, yeah, so the lining of the gut requires, oh, no, this, no, I'll have a think about that one. Anyway, in relation to glutathione pathways and glutamine production. Two things related? Yeah, they're both phase two liver detoxification. So if we can't get things out of phase two liver, it just sits in there and there's more likely to create fatty liver and that sort of thing. Mm. But what you can do is um, look up phase two liver detoxification online and natural support, and then you'll just see the sort of you know, teas and things that really support that. There's a whole bunch of stuff that are cheap and easy to do to add to phase two liver detox. No, that's all, good. Anything else linked in with the SV40? Oh, the other thing the SV40 was linked to, I knew there was something associated with you that I was thinking, chronic fatigue. 
Mm. Yeah, so because when, um, when they did this mass polio vaccination within the medical world, 200 doctors and nurses ended up not being able to get out of bed for months. So, um, so the doctor who was research, or the scientist, sorry, who was researching it, uh, that's when she finally came up with the SV40, which when she was, I don't know whether it was rats or mice at the time, um, in the experiments that she found not only, you know, was it messing with the mitochondria, so the production of energy in the cells, but it was also, you know, creating tumours left, right and centre. And to this day, the SV40 um, virus is used by doctors around the world to create tumours in animals so that they can do cancer research. Oh so it's a very highly tumour forming virus. Oh. So of course they really appreciated knowing about that. Oh. And what's the other one? XMRV, so that's what I'm going to check now. Okay, so in relation to XMRV. Okay, so the XMRV isn't showing, so let me, but let me check the MMR as well. Okay. So the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, mm -hmm. so because, you know, with your gut issues, today I was um, reading as well that one of the big connections with MMR is gut issues. Oh. So... Um, as well as the vaccine. Oh. Mm, yeah, fun. In relation to any and all side effects of the MMR vaccine. And hold. 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 Check your stomach energy. Hold up. Hold up. In the leg, bend, bend, yep, and hold up. Mm. So small intestine energy, hold up. Okay. Not happy, Alice. <laughs> Four on the outside. <laughs> yeah, that's large intestine energy out there, which is also grief, guilt, regret. it feeling speaking up to your narcissists? Different. Yeah. I have nowhere else to go. Mm. I've just had enough. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how good does it feel to be able to speak it? Weird. It was good to get it off my chest. Yeah. But it doesn't sit comfortably. Yeah. Like it shouldn't have to come to that. Yeah. And I yelled. I don't do that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, MMR. And bend and hold. Good. Bend, hold. Beautiful. Ah, liver as well. Renal MMR toxins. Once again, I've got no idea what it is about the MMR, whether or not it's the measles, mumps, or rubellas, or whether it's one of the adjuvants, or whether there was like a hidden animal virus the way there was with the XMRV and the SV40. Hold. hold it. Yep, that's it. And hold up. Ah, so that one is um, messing with the liver being able to deal with the emotional gear. So then it just recycles around in the brain and you just keep thinking about it. And eventually you have to release it in one way or another. So yay for a migraine reset or... 
getting it out any way your body can. After yelling, I was tired. Mm, yeah. And hold something else. Hold. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, glandular fever is a common retrovirus. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay, so in relation to glandular fever, so the Epstein Barr virus. And hold. Mm. So especially with the thyroid stuff, um, those viral particles can mess with the ability for your thyroid to function. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's still in there, the immune system still doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, well, I think I've had it. Did your mum ever have it? I don't know. Mm. Been doing tapping? Mm. Don't know much I can do. <laughs> oh, you like softness, I'm sure you're doing it very softly. Mm. Okay, Epstein Bar virus. And hold. Hold. being messed still by the EBV. Okay, so that is the triple heta meridian. So that was the immune system. So I'll check adrenals and thyroid. Mm -hmm. So firstly, and hold, yep. And hold, yep, so messing with your adrenals. And hold back. And your thyroid. And hold back. Mm. So that's really about cleaning the receptors. Um, you know, which is lots of the detox stuff. Um, adrenals. Ah, thyroid. I mean, that's a, a um, detox vacuum cleaner, I guess. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Did you ever come over to the Curacell warehouse 20 years ago where they made the Curacell products? There was a doctor, Dr. Bill Chan, and he had this idea that was about, it was sort of like a, um, a machine that while you're attached to it, it pulled out all your blood and you were on it for like hours and hours and hours. But while you're in there, it would basically remove all the fat from your bloodstream. And then as it was going back in, because bloodstream actually needs a certain amount of fat, it would actually mean that it would break down the fat from deep inside and release it out into the bloodstream. And he was finding that people were losing weight. And he was doing it for, his idea wasn't for weight loss, I think it was for high cholesterol or something like that. But it was a really success, it was at the Wesley, he did a little study, and it was really successful. And of course, it never went anywhere. Like maybe it was too time consuming or too expensive or who knows. Because there was hours and hours and hours needed to sort of do it. But it was um, doing it in a natural way. It was sort of just almost creating osmosis, pulling fat mm -hmm. from the deeper tissues because the bloodstream apparently... Because I don't even know whether they knew that the bloodstream... Because we are talking 20 plus years ago. So I don't even know they knew that they needed fat in the bloodstream at all times, but why else would the body pull it out oh, yeah. from deep inside? Okay, let's see. Because that throat chakra, no surprise, not being able to speak your speak truth, truth for the last, you know, bit of years. You are getting better at it. It's exhausting you, but 
so linked. So your throat chakra, your thyroid, your adrenals. So your adrenals are exhausted. Your thyroid's exhausted. Your speaking your truth is already exhausted. Mm -hmm. Even though, but there's been a lot of it lately. Mm -hmm. And hold, that's better. Hold, good. Thyroid, hold that. Hold that, beautiful. Yeah, so that's another old pain and punishment circuit. I wonder if, um, I wonder if because you're standing your ground for, your fir for the first time ever with these few people, I wonder if you've gone into like a new stage. You know, when we're kids and we bond with our parents, we bond with our parents and our brothers and sisters and everyone. And like, there's like a, a specific way that we move around life, you know, so that's how, and then we're supposed to move forward. But I wonder with narcissists, if every time you have a situation that um, is traumatic and you've had to choose a new way to deal with them, you've had no choice because it was killing you. Mm. So you've had to choose this new way. Anyway, I'm sort of curious where your body is on the developmental directory now. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. Wow, okay. You're not an adult. So you're actually in the differentiation, so you're only just separating yourself from them now. Yeah, so it's about, yeah, it's about autonomy and independence, self-control. And the relationship focus is all about the parents. Because I don't want to be with that. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the time when you're having to start, build your own self-confidence and your own self-control. And you're getting better to saying no and being willful, but they're all unlocking because it's a stress doing it. Oh, hello, something passive as well. So they're the active ones, mm. you know, um, giving yourself self-control, self-confidence, saying no, being willful. Yeah, but on the negatives, you know that you're not protected and you know even though you're changing, they're not. They're not. Yeah, so you don't feel protected and you don't feel safe and you don't feel... Um, that it's sustainable. Yeah, it's um, it's like your brain feels you haven't been forgiven even though you've done nothing wrong, mm -hmm. but that's how they make you feel. It's always your fault. Mm -hmm. But you're standing your ground. Oh, wow okay and you're acting out cool that's so excellent okay I'm gonna tell you what this says I'm sure you know what it is but it's overt behavior relating to inattention emotionalism hurting people when feeling angry at self or situations so your brain's just over it I don't want to feel it enough yeah enough. yeah well done you're acting out. You're finally being the teenager. <laughs> or the ter probably more the terrible, terrible two. <laughs> I'm so excited for your little ego defense. Me, me, me. Yeah. She needs to be a kid in the game. People being responsible. Oh. But look where you are on the grief gauge. You're oh, down at healthy see. separation. Oh, good. So even though it feels like crap, your brain has already, you're, you've started to separate from it. And healthily, not unhealthily. So that's amazing. Because what's it been, three, four, five months or something? Mm. I mean, I know you've been trying for <laughs> years, but you've actually been... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so scary. Mm. Yeah, so being really, um, so doing it quite passively, actually. 
separating yourself from what you can, detaching from what you can, trying to be at peace and trying to be um, contemplative. So even though the hurt is still coming and you know the hurt's coming, it's not going to go away because they're not going to change. Um, it's like your nervous system sort of going, okay. But it's a, it's almost like that new normal. Well, I was prepared to walk away. Prepared to walk away. Doesn't say you're ready to forgive yet. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I need to so I can heal. <laughs> Not for them, for me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where, you know, you're so used to picking on yourself about stuff. At least you're picking yourself up on that now as well. Mm. You know, you know when you feel guilty, it's stupid. <laughs> you know, I haven't done anything wrong. Well, I said that to you. Why do I feel guilty? Mm. Well, I said it to me. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like a criminal because I've done nothing mm -hmm. wrong. Exactly. Oh, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm.